it's heartbreaking. You watch them kind of just shrink and shrink and shrink and get smaller. And it is, um, it's gut-wrenching. She was the, and still is to this day, the first and only female general manager, vice president, and legal counsel of a professional football team. She started off as a teacher and loved being a teacher. She was a history teacher, but always wanted to challenge herself and then had a tennis dress design business. We sold the business, went to um, Villanova Law School, graduated at the top of her class. And at that same time, my grandfather, who owned the Philadelphia Eagles, said, why don't you come work for me at the Eagles? And my mom was like, oh, okay, that sounds like a good idea. It's a couple years ago, I started noticing things like a little bit of rambling conversations. I'm like, that's kind of unusual for her. It became apparent that something was definitely wrong with my mom and we, you know, took her to a neurologist and then they were like, you know, she's got this amyloid protein that is presenting itself as frontal lobe dementia. And believe me, it was like literally it, like being hit by a, a truck. The progression with frontal lobe dementia is a very quick one. And she knows who I am, whether she knows that I'm her daughter and what that actually means. I don't know whether she knows that um, my kids are her grandchildren. I think she knows their names and she knows the connection. But she knows that we're her people and she knows that she's loved and she knows that she's so important. She's the most important person in my life. She knows that. She definitely knows that. She, I mean, I could barely keep up with her half the time, and I have a lot of energy. Now her days are much more quiet. Literally, it's the worst thing ever. You know, I'm an only child, and my mom and I are so close that once you lose that, like once you, the reality of losing that is so, it's so awful. It's just like, it really truly, if anything motivates me to try to help others, I, yes, I, I have become an activist because for me, it's just, the, it's my coping skill. You know, what am I gonna do? I mean, obviously I now have experienced this disease firsthand. For me, it's like, okay, I wanna roll up my sleeves. I wanna do everything I can, even if it's really probably annoying at times to people when I'm like, okay, but you know, Alzheimer's is something you really need to pay attention to. And can you give them big chunks of money because they need it? I want to be able to use my voice, use my mom's story, use my family legacy to really, truly do everything I can be doing to make a difference.